From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV, out on location on the USS Orlick, right here in downtown Jacksonville. Great to be here. Brought to you by our friends at Firewatch. Make sure you check them out. Let's end veteran suicide right here in Jacksonville. My guest this time around, you're not going to believe it. He's been <laughs> trying to come on for a long time. He's here today, though. It's the Jaguars' original pick and first ever Hall of Fame player. My teammate, my friend, Tony Vichelli. What's up, Big Tone? What's up, Tommy? You're the man. No, Good to see thanks you, Thanks for having me. We finally did no, it. I know. We've been talking, talking about it forever. About, I know. We have. It's great. Great to have you. Uh, Hall of Fame, Tone. I'm going to start with that, dude. I mean, what an honor. You well deserved. I can say that to him blue in the face. But how about yeah. you, man? Just what a what a great honor. Yeah, who would have Did thought? it humble you at all? Not that you needed to be no, humble. No, no, no. Is it a humbling experience? It's a humbling experience. Yeah. That, it's a it's a it's probably the best adjective to describe the feeling. Is it? Um because like you, I mean, I grew up loving the game. Yeah. I mean, I we I mean, I know how yeah. passionate you are about it. I love football and to yeah. be included with those guys, yeah. the greats that I grew up watching, yeah. and then now to be a part of that fraternity is like right. Like the best, like the best way I can explain it is the last August when the, at the induction, like two nights before, we had this thing and they bring all the any Hall of Famer comes back and sure. it was the biggest class that ever came back. A number of guys, like hundred plus Hall of Famers. Yeah. And we go into the uh, bus room where all the buses and everyone had to leave unless you were a Hall of Famer. Wow. And they gave everyone a oh. uh, glass of champagne and and we did a toast. Yeah. And and Mean Joe Green oh. gets up. Did he throw his jersey to you? Oh, it was the best. But he gets in the <laughs> middle and he starts doing a toast. Yeah. And I, I literally took a step back. Yeah. To the very back of the, I'm like, dude. Because you just don't feel like, right. you're like, I'm right. like, this is Mito Green. Right. I'm like, are you kidding me? Right. I was talking to Jack Youngblood. And, yeah. I mean, all these great players. And uh, it was uh, it was awesome. That it's just, so a, it's cool. a cool thing. And I think the other thing that, the other humbling part about it is, is representing Jacksonville and the Jaguars. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, in one of the, Going through the whole process, what I found out I made it in that whole, I guess it was eight months until induction, yep. a lot of reflection, and, you th and for me at least, it was like looking back at how you got there yep. and all the people yep. that helped you get there. Because I, I don't think, none of us get to where we are by ourselves. Not I by mean, ourselves. that's like, everyone's like, oh, pound your chest. I'm like, no. I'm like, not me. Right. It was great coaches. Yeah. Dad, well, you did your uncle. part, yeah. but they helped you. Yeah, you helped. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, God. I mean, I always tell people, God didn't. I, I made. I didn't make myself six, seven, athletic. That's right. a gift of God. But it was the hard work. It was the people. Yep. And uh, teammates. It's and great so, to be it, on top of the food chain, isn't it, Tom? It, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It's, six, well, it's seven, like you know, the funny things. People all the time say, <laughs> like these, fam, you know, moms and dads will come up and they'll have little Johnny or little, yeah. you know, yeah. some little guy, and they say, hey, he, yeah. he wants to be an offensive lineman. What? What? Do you have any recommendations? And yeah. the parents are like five, six, right? Five, eight, nine. <laughs> and I look at them and I yeah. say, well, first of all. Get different just, genetics. <laughs> I don't say it that bluntly. <laughs> I said, work hard, yeah. do your best, right. you know, be dedicated, work on your technique. But, yeah. you know, and you have to be gifted. You have to, I mean, right. God has to smile on you and give you an opportunity. So how did, how did you deal with, like, I mean, look, you, obviously coming out of USC, you know, first pick of the Jags. I mean, great his, you know, great career, Hall of Fame career. You know, how do you? You know, how do you look back and just be like, man, what a, well, what a ride. What a ride. And right? I think, you know, the the NFL ride, coming to Jacksonville was great. Yeah. You know, people all the time say, you know, are you disappointed you didn't get to go to, like, New the York Giants or, yeah. or the yeah. Bears yeah. or the Cowboys. Some, some team with history. And I said, not yeah. one moment of any day. Yeah. Because I think one of the things that helped me is – someone's upset over there. Uh, one of the things that – Strangle it. <laughs> be quiet. Yeah. Um, one of the things that helped me – is the teams I was on. Yeah. I mean, you know, like 95, yep. you, in the experience we had in 95 in that locker room, and like that was a close team. Yeah. And Definitely. one of the great things, I was, I was the first pick, but you better not have ego in that locker room. No, right. Because everyone's like, hey, listen, right. like you get it. Like yeah. you, you're going to get, they're going to go after you. And I like that. And yeah. that was good because I think it helped me uh, as far as, you know, developing as a player and the toughness, not just yeah. physically, but mentally, mentally. Be, like be able to grind through yeah. things. So, it was. Uh, it's been an amazing ride, and who would have known that you know, in '95 coming out of SC, I didn't even know where Jacksonville was, and now right. this is home. How about Mike Mazur? I know he's a big yeah. influence. God rest his soul. I know him obviously at Boston at BC, College yeah. and here, and what a great coach. How, how did he help shape you? Yeah, I was fortunate because um, I had two great coaches. 
like this is another gift of God. I had great. I had a great high school coach. Did you? Like, oh my gosh, okay. he's you know in the call uh, Colorado uh, Sports Hall of Fame. A yep. Great high school coach. And I go to SC, and I had two amazing offensive line coaches. My uh, John okay. Matsko, who's at the Commanders now still. Okay. And Mike Berry, who's retired. Both were amazing. And so you get then you get drafted. You don't know. Right. I mean, it's a it's a crapshoot. I mean, right. it's one of thirty two or one of thirty back then. Yep. And uh, Maze was great because I came in to the Jaguars and I had good technique and I, I knew like how to technically play the position. Okay. And Mike was good because he didn't try to change everything. Right. He came in and like guided me let and you taught, you. and let me be me, but also refined <laughs> my skill set and really mm-hmm. became a guy that um, had a great relationship. I trusted him. Uh, we had a back and forth going at it, but that was good. Yeah. Like he, good cha- he challenged me. Yep. To be a better player, and uh, I, I was very fortunate to have such a good coach because he was a great technical coach too. Yep. Um, but he also helped me take it to the next level and refine those skills and yep. and challenge me to be better. I remember when you got hurt in camp yeah. your rookie year, and the whole we were on three different fields, yeah, and right. it all went quiet. Yeah, because like, Log- Logman's an idiot. Like, it's oh, it's Logman. What's he was doing? Was it him? Yeah, it was a bull. <laughs> Team Mac, he's bull it? rushing. It's, it, was, it was like the one day it rained in, right. in uh, Stevens Point. Pouring rain, wet field. Yep. And he decides to bull rush. Oh, my foot slips out. My knee gets yeah. all messed up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's always blind. Yeah. I, mean, I always blind. That's hilarious. I never day. knew it was yeah, locks. Yeah, That's hilarious. But your first start was against Sean Jones. That's right. Against Green Bay. Yep. And you shut him down. I remember. And I remember at because he was he was kind of he wasn't like the elite elite, but he was a really good player. Up, yeah. up, like I, it's funny because I remember everything about that game. Do you really? Because remember, so we had training camp. Yep. You know, all the pressure being the number one overall pick and all that yep. stuff. And then you get in. I get hurt. So no preseason, you know, trying to rehab my knee, come back, miss yep. the first three games. And now we're playing national television. Sunday yep. night. It was a Sunday night no, game. No, it was. Remember that. Yeah, I remember. And, uh, and Sean Jones is the right end. Yep. And I remember looking. He had 106 sacks. That's right. Coming into That's that game. That's right. Yeah. And I was as nervous as I've maybe yeah. ever been oh yeah. that in the bruce smith game i mean those like yeah, as nervous sure. as i've been yeah sure and uh i remember thinking i'm like we're gonna find out real quick here whether yeah. you are worth a crap or not nice. and we're gonna do it on national television yeah. so i remember walking in that game and it was the first third down and uh third and long because i don't think we had a first down in that first half against the packers yeah. and uh, we weren't very good yeah. and uh i blocked them. and i remember walking off the field we didn't convert i didn't yeah. care right just as long yeah, you as just it, blocked i you blocked them. them yeah and i remember yeah. walking on the field i'm like you know what I can play in this league. Yeah, yeah. Well, you could. Yeah, <laughs> it worked out okay. Very well, it worked right. out all right. All right for, other than Bruce, who was? I, I want to make a guess. Who was your toughest guy to block? I want you guess first. I've heard you say it's so was kind of cheating. You're cheating. Yeah. yeah, McCrary. It's Michael McCrary. Yeah, from Baltimore. He was probably the guy I struggled with the most. One game was John Randall. Okay. I didn't have a good game, and he was a hell of a player. Oh, Holy that's cow. when they killed us, fifty to ten. <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> was brutal. Ross had three bombs. <laughs> yes. Remember that? It was yes. like, just 70 yards bomb. Running by everybody. Yeah, nobody can catch <laughs> No. Yep. Um, but the guy who challenged me the most year in, year out, because we were in the same division as Baltimore, right. was Michael McCrary. Yep. And Michael's a guy that went to several Pro Bowls, double-digit sacks like five years in a row. Yep. And he wasn't the biggest guy. He was probably only 255 pounds, um, tall, good length. Yeah. But he was as tough and as nasty and as tenacious as any guy yep. I'd ever played against. Okay. And he was one of those guys, I'd get him on the ground, he'd start crawling to the quarterback. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, right. So it, it made me, yeah. and I felt like it was like, you know, I know you're, you're a fight fan, boxing. Yep. Yeah. It was, I felt like every time I played him, it was a heavyweight fight. Isn't it? And, told- it, and it was like, it's going to yeah. be like 12 rounds. Right. And who can knock out? The but other I don't guy. think people realize the banging you oh. guys do against each other, the arms, the shoulders. Well, the, and back then, everything. It was a more. It's a physical game today, but it was probably more yeah, physical. Totally. You could do more. You could do more. That's a better more. way to say it. Yeah. And I would try to get him on the ground, and I would go after him. Forearms yeah. to the back of the head, <laughs> lay on yeah, him. I, mean, I was yeah. 325 pounds. Right. I'd just lay right. on him, and he'd be grunting. Yeah. Just it's, I'd do everything I could to try to take his will away from him. Yep. And uh, we had great battles. But I, res- I probably respect Michael McCreary as much as any player I've ever played. That's great. Yeah. That's great. All right. So I'm gonna. I know we, we got to go here, but I want to two things. One, you're very involved in the community, and you always have been, and that's been very important to you. Uh, people know you as a player. A lot of people know you as a person, obviously, but you really care about this community, as I do. Yeah. And the people in it, you try to help them every chance you get. You use your platform to do it. Yeah. I, mean, I remember in '95 when I got here, and I had this financial advisor. You start a foundation. Yeah. And I'm like, why? 
I'm like, he's like, like well, to give back. Right. He's like, I'm like, I just got money for the first time in my life. I'm not giving any of away. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right. He's always the right thing to do. Yeah, right. I mean, I was 23 no, years right. old. I was, yeah, a, I was a knucklehead. Yeah. And, uh, and my wife did most of it. Angie did a lot of it yeah. probably that first two years. And then all of a sudden I got really involved. And ultimately what it is, and it's ebbed and flowed the foundation of what we do and don't do yeah. and everything else. But at the end of the day, this is my home. Yeah. I, this is a great community. And I love Jacksonville. I love the people of Jacksonville. Definitely. I love the culture, just what it's about. Yep. And I think no different, and I have a platform like you do as a, as a Jaguar. Sure. But more than anything, is like I think just being a part of a community, you should give back and be a good neighbor. And, yep. and that's whether it's, we were talking before, riding down, you know, riding bikes down the beach. Yeah, and Maybe a, visiting a few establishments and say hi to the people. That's and, right. Or just going out to dinner and, and or just doing, hanging out. That's right. Or giving being back visible. to the foundation. Yep. I just love this place. And so... If I'm going to be a part of a community, I want to try to make it better. Yeah, and no doubt. No, and I think hopefully everyone feels that way. Yeah, you've done it too. There's no doubt. I know there's more work to do, obviously. All right, great year by the Jags. You cover them. Obviously, you're doing the, yeah. the radio. Doug, great. I mean, what a turnaround. Um, I feel like it's a like the cement's laid for the foundation. You yeah. know what I mean? The footers are in. Foundation's in. We're just going to go up from here. It's, hey, I don't like when I hear... We'll be back. We'll be back. You never know if you're going to be back. You never know. We were lucky to be back. You know, it, but you know but that. You know how tough our. I remember when is. we lost in uh, up in New England '96. Yep. And we were like a series away from going Super Bowl. I, I know. Mean, we were right I know. there. It stings every year. Oh, does it sting you? Okay. Every Good, day. Because I know. I it was drives so me nuts real too. quick on that. Yep. And uh, I was. I did the game. Uh, the uh, Jags routes. I did national radio yeah. for the Chiefs Bengals. Yep. And I was sitting in the booth, and this is what 2023. So that was. Yeah. 30 years ago, 20, 27 years, 20, whatever it was. Era, yeah. And uh, I was sitting there and I was broken. Like I was, like, there was a piece of me that was right. broken. Right. I'm just sitting there and like, and so we were talking about, it, I'm like, you know, these are the moments I wish more than anything I could put pads back on and go out there. And no play doubt. This game. In that moment. In that moment. Right. There's nothing better. better. There's just nothing. I agree. And, uh, but I remember leaving that game in 96 playoffs and I remember thinking, I told Mark we were driving back and he was down because, you know, the late interception and he yep. was bummed. Yep. And uh, and I said, oh, we'll be back. Like, because like, you think you're a young guy. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, invincible. We just did it. Yeah. Like, we'll yeah, do it again. Do it again. But no you, problem. you don't know how many chances you get. And, yep. but, but I think the foundation is laid. In this league today, obviously you have to have the right head coach. Yep. And Doug Peterson, great head coach, great leader, outstanding play caller. Um, yeah. And I don't think people appreciate what he had to do after the last – Goofball was here. Yeah, right. Was, you know, Urban, yep. who yep. just was. Nobody likes saying his name. Urban, I mean, because how bad it was as it was bad terrible. as it could be. It was be. terrible. Just, yeah. I mean, because totally. like, when it's it's not just he was a bad coach. Yeah. He didn't live, say do anything he said. No. He said one thing, did this. So yeah. he's gone. Thank right. God. Yeah. And uh, so he comes in and changes the culture, yep. fixes it. Amazing. So you have the right head coach. And today you have to have the quarterback. Yeah. And Trevor's a franchise quarterback. Oh, no doubt. I mean, he's going to be. No doubt. Let me he, ask you real quick. Really good. When he was struggling, you, we still knew he had a ton of talent. But did you – not that he was – you just were like, man, you're missing open guys. Like, what's going on? Like, come on, you got to hit these. But then he settled down yeah. and really turned the corner. Well, I said, you know, on the, the Monday, Monday morning show I do with Dan and Jeff, yeah. I said yeah. from the beginning, I said, guys, act like this is his rookie year. Okay. Because last Fair. year he was thrown into the – just the pile of you-know-what. Yep. And, it, it, you know, in no development – distractions, everything else. Act like this is rookie year. And I remember it was after a game early, and the fans were like, oh, you know, is he the wrong guy? You know, no, right. which is good. Fans should, that's what sure. fans should do. Yeah, yeah. And I said on the radio, I said, I believe now, as much as ever, he is a franchise quarterback. Be patient. He's going to figure out. He has the right coach. Yep. He has the right talent. Yep. And Trevor Lawrence is mentally tough. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. And physically. And physically. Yeah, but he's got I mean, it all. A lot of guys can be physically you're tough. You're right. But if you don't have it up between right. the ears, yep. you're, you have no chance at that position. So. You know, with those two guys in, yep. there's no guarantees. You still got to improve the roster. I think defensively, you got to figure out how to impact the quarterback more. No doubt. I saw you tweet. I think it was today or yesterday. Yep. Get off third on down. third down. <laughs> I mean, you I love your. By it. the way, I love your tweets. All oh, the time. I, I, thanks. <laughs> my Tommy <laughs> just throwing bombs out there. <laughs> you can't be afraid. No, no. bombs. Can't be afraid. Just throwing I bombs. I got backup. Right? No, you're I good. Got back. Like, 
You, bring, you, you, I mean, you give your opinion. I you do. give some data to back it up. Yeah, but yeah. I just like the bomb. That's like good. I just sit and follow you. On tw- I just follow you on Twitter. I'm like, oh, Tommy Mac, back. at it again. That's right. Which, by the way, is no different than you were in the locker room. No, right, right. right. <laughs> same, same, same dude. You yeah. haven't changed. Same, same, same. Which is same. the best. So, yeah, I think they are set up for success. Cool, man. It's going to be great. Thanks for joining me. Man. Hey, what to do awesome, this? This is awesome, It's so man. much fun. This is really and how cool. about this ship? 11,000 missions, Tom. It's amazing. This so ship right here. I was talking to uh, Mike uh, yeah. back there. Navy. Mike White, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. in the Navy, and he was on uh, an aircraft carrier, so I was just picking his brain about yeah. like what that was like, and he was telling me about you know how many guys would be on this ship and stuff. And and I think what I love about Jacksonville, another thing about Jacksonville, it's a, it's a military town. Definitely. Obviously, it's a heavy Navy more than anything, but it's a yep. military town. And if you get on a boat like this, you realize the men and women that just give a piece of their life yep. and some their All, entire life. Oh, right. I mean, the ultimate sacrifice yep. to make us sit here on this beautiful St. John's River, not worried about too much of anything. Talk ball. You talk ball. Play, <laughs> like, America's good. Yeah. And definitely. it's good because of people like Mike and the people who serve yep. on this boat and uh, several, you know, across the, all the, uh, across the military, whatever branch it is. No doubt. Cheers, brother. Thanks so much. Yeah, I'll see you in Jack's Beach. We'll do this one hour. Well, maybe it. like if I don't have to go back to work, uh, next yeah, time we'll come. We'll, do we'll this. have a couple more beers. All right. Hey, find more of these conversations at IWantToBuzz.com. We're out on the USS Orlick in downtown Jacksonville. Until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. We'll see you right here on the horse's mouth. Cheers. Cheers.